Hi everyone, kumusta po? Welcome to the channel. And yesterday, Hot Toys just released their 1-6 scale figure of the Mark 85. And it looks so awesome. It has the classic red and gold color with the dark gray accent. That dark gray accent color is present on all parts of the armor from feet, arms, until the helmet. And it complements so well together with the metallic red and gold color of the armor. The only weapon and accessories that were revealed together with this figure is this. It's like the same cannon technology used by Iron Man to blast Call of Obsidian during Avengers Infinity War. Only this time, it's attached to his back. Now, we're not sure what this weapon actually does, but by the looks of it, we can say that this weapon will play a big part on Iron Man's battle against Thanos. Or maybe, who knows, a new villain. MC also said that nanotechnology will be the peak of Tony Stark's armor. But we all saw that interview wherein Robert Downey Jr. is in the Wakanda set. That means he will appear in Wakanda in the Avengers Endgame movie. And everyone knows what's in Wakanda. Follow what comes out of Wakanda. The strongest metal on earth. And knowing Tony Stark, he will definitely have the idea of making a suit made of vibranium or at least have some vibranium composition. So I'm willing to bet that this armor is made of vibranium or at least has some vibranium composition. If this will happen, I'm sure there will be a scene in the movie wherein Tony Stark will face Thanos again and fight him one on one. Only this time, Thanos won't be able to shatter Tony Stark's armor. <laughs> Just imagine, what if Tony Stark would be able to beat Thanos by means of this suit and be the one to mention these lines? I hope they remember you. Imagine how Thanos will react to that. What's even more excited about this is the jump from Mark 50 to Mark 85. They jumped 34 suits. Just imagine the amount of technology, modifications, and improvements that Tony Stark would be able to put into this suit considering there were 34 suits that were made before it. I personally, I will feel really disappointed if out of that 35 suits, none of them will have the Proton Cannon. Seriously, I want to see the Proton Cannon guys. Dati ko pa gusto makita yan since Iron Man 2, seriously. This also begs the question guys, considering the jump from Mark 50 to Mark 85, do you think that all 34 suits will make an appearance on the Avengers Endgame movie? Or do you think that the Quantum Realm suits seen on the previous trailers are counted on the 34 suits? How about the rescue armor of Pepper Potts? And the best question is, do you think that there will be a House Party Protocol 2.0 wherein all 35 suits will come out and fight a common enemy? Let me know your thoughts down on the comments below. Before we end this video, I'd just like to remind you about our Mark 1 Arc Reactor Giveaway video link in the description below. If you haven't joined the giveaway yet, all you have to do is follow the accounts that you see on the screen and subscribe to the channel. And that would be all. Thank you for watching. This is Arlis HD and until the next one. Peace and God bless you all.